Hey you right guys, Trish Munch is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 5 of Perseus Jaclonius uh, Season 1. I enjoyed the last episode, I still feel like these episodes are a little bit too quick. This one's at 40 minutes though, so fingers crossed that we get quite a bit of content into here. Uh, but like I say, for the most part, really enjoying the show, I think it is good. I don't think he's doing anything exceptional yet though, uh, which I think some people are just kind of waiting for that, you know leap leaping quality just a tiny bit but maybe we'll have to wait until season two for that because maybe uh, they didn't get the biggest budget i assume they got a big budget for this though i don't know it's disney and percy jackson like i'm sure they got still got a huge budget um and i think a lot of that went to the special effects because it does actually look really good in that department but episode five guys if you enjoy make sure to leave a like if you're new remember to subscribe and if you do want the uncut reactions to percy jackson and every other show that i do then patreon will of course be linked down below but for now episode five Let's do this. They're looking at us. Yeah. <laughs> so we should probably get out of here, oh, don't they you think? Monsters. Yeah, I think so. Let's go find Percy. Annabeth. He's alive. I know it. <laughs> Was he ready to just give up? Ugh, Annabeth, I don't think it's like pro. <laughs> wow, I have all the docks. I'm sorry about shoving you in the stairwell. Even hearing myself say that sounds really bad, but I just, I knew you'd never agree, and there wasn't enough time. And a Beth and Percy friendship. Best friendship. The police think that we crashed an Amtrak train and then did that. Ah, yes, fun. The, the cops are after us. We're pretty sure Hades has the master boat, but he couldn't have stolen it himself. I mean, we don't even know who actually stole the thing. Or why? Or how deep this goes? I'm the last person to realize this, aren't I? <laughs> oh, okay, well. I guess I just really never thought that's something he'd do for me. So maybe I gotta take things more seriously now. Car. Oh, here we go. That's not a car, it's, it's a bike. bike. Yeah. It's gotta pass. Come on. Mm, it's gonna be a villain. The Muflobly Gloss, whatever that is. It doesn't have to be a thing, you know? They hugged me. Oh boy. I mean, uh, we're like friends now. It seems like a thing friends do. At least they think they do. I saw the fates. <laughs> Back at the arch, the I saw the fate. three fates and I saw Atropus cut a piece of thread. Literally, if they just had Kratos on the job, Don, he killed the three sisters of fate in about half a day. The old ladies with a ball of yarn can't know what's going to happen. Would I choose to do changes? And the bugs rolled on. I can up. choose to do anything I want. Need some help? I was like Jeffrey Dean Morgan. We don't want anything from you. <laughs> you sure? Because you guys are so behind schedule. Oh, is it God? The God of motorbikes? As your big cousin, I feel like maybe I want to give you a hand. Cousin? Aries. Oh, that's Ares. Again, Kratos killed Ares. That's important. He's <laughs> having a great place. time. <laughs> it looks like the singer from Imagine Dragons. Maybe a little bit older, but... Percy was always troubled, oh my but God. I never thought he was capable of something like this. Well, who's that? My stepdad. What's he doing? Wait for it. A kid that messed up. Oh, he's blaming Percy for the disappearance of the mom. Olympians fight. We betray. We backstab. We will push anyone down a flight of stairs to get ahead. And that's well, why I love my family so wrong. much. You get me my shield back, and I'll get you to the underworld by lunch tomorrow with a plan to invade Hades' palace. You left your shield? Another side quest. We have a deal, or am I killing all three of you so I can eat in peace? Bro, you invited them here. You really do need that shield back. So I'm gonna keep the satyr here as collateral so you don't run off. What? No. Okay. Is that bad? Yeah. I don't have to go on a little side mission, that's fine. If you wanted to kill us, we'd be dead by now. He just gets to chill here and eat burgers with hate, um, Ares. I haven't seen a lot of horror movies, but this seems like exactly the kind of place they suggest to avoid. Not really. I don't know. It's pretty well There's lit. Kind of movie. It's not in the woods or anything. It'd be fine. And, and Beth and Percy are hanging out again for the whole lap. 
Wait, push it stop. Oh. Okay, we're in a soul trap already. Okay, just happen. Just hold still. <laughs> Good start. Safe to say this is not just some amusement park. A god built this. Oh. What kind of god builds amusement parks? The god of Hephaestus. Oh. How would Hephaestus build an amusement park? Isn't that the dad of Pandora? Because weren't you the one this morning who saw the fate say one of us is gonna die and we should take it really seriously? Percy? If you die at the entrance of an amusement park. <laughs> GG. Machine isn't designed to hurt us. It's meant to scare us. <laughs> it's a test. I would have completely missed it. I would have just walked through and not even known it was there. How fast is wanting to know any time we're going to around this playground? I guess now he knows. It's every show now, isn't it? Every time they do a nighttime scene, it's like, we've got to make it so you barely see anything. Because that's realistic. So, yeah. Uh, thanks. I'm a fan. Oh, uh, we're a fan of Ares. I think you got me mixed up with someone else, kid. He looks like an Ares, actually. They've cast him pretty well. So what are you, like a casual World War II buff? You've seen Saving Private Ryan, have you? I prefer the Turbot War. The Lobster War? The 335 Years War. 335 years? Those are wars where hardly anyone died. I like your mellower stuff. There's something cool about overwhelming force and a quick surrender. Quick surrender? 335 Year War. So tell me where we met again. Always oh, got him intrigued. <laughs> this could look so good, but it's like you can't see oh. anything. Wow. I see, I think a wheel, but I don't know. Ever seen anything like this? I haven't seen anything like it because I don't know what you're looking at. It's all, I see nothing. Don't you even try to tell me not to be weird about this. I didn't say anything. You didn't say anything. I can't see anything. Uh, must be where Ares and Aphrodite got caught. The shield must be in there. Maybe it's better lit in there. I think we should just go for it. Please be well lit in there. That's all I that's all I wish for. Oh, it's not. <laughs> no, it's that it's actually what is love? Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. I feel like I've heard this before. Everyone's heard this before. <laughs> like the Dawn's office, maybe. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pretty cool. It's a festive story. And then Zeus chained him up, didn't he? Or stole his wife. Something like that, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she should have been preparing me better. Maybe she was preparing you. So when you got to us, you'd be different than this. We'll see, I'm rooting for like evil Percy Jackson. Hell yes, I roll on towers, let's go. <laughs> What's this fun? I we can see! I can see things! Oh my god. Well, just hop out and get it done. No. Can she not swim? No. Oh, great. Oh, hell yeah. My boy's using powers or it. Oh, I don't really get what just happened there. He was doing like a swirly whirlpool and then we cut to there out, I guess. Did you just pull me out of there with that water power stuff? Did I just use water with my mind? How am I supposed to get that thing down? Just, climb, just hop up, I'd climb on that. Is that Pandora's chest? What is that? Pandora's box. It's a machine, but how do you start the machine? Oh, no I hate my own kids. <laughs> Maybe less than other kids, but still not fond of them. Look what I made. What are butterflies for my knee hurt? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Athena. What do you mean? Always making things more complicated than they need to be, so people will think she's smarter than you. Ooh. Is it gonna have touched her nerves there? <laughs> Thank you. Ah, I no, never mind. Who sees it, right? No, not at all. It certainly feels that way sometimes. And seriously, I like Aries. People only see what they want to see and ignore anything at all that doesn't fit the story they like to tell themselves. Exactly, like you being the one to find the lightning thief and not her. <laughs> I know what he's trying to do, but it's like, butter him up. What do you mean by that? <laughs> God. By what? Uh, well, the thief. One of us goes in, the other gets the shield. Uh, I'll do it. What? Wait a minute. Whoever goes in isn't coming out. That seems pretty clear. I know, that's why I said wait. Can't you just go round it and hop up? We dodged at the arch, barely, but... Maybe this isn't something you can dodge forever. 
Mm. The Oracle chose you. The gods chose Stop. you. It isn't about that. I feel like they'll figure something out. I don't know. Believe me, I wish there was another way this quest succeeds. I just don't see it. I see it. Just go pry the <laughs> shield out. I'm not leaving the underworld without your mom. I forgot, I forgot about Percy's mom there for a minute. I was going to say when this quest is done, can you maybe swing back here and try to get me out of this thing? <laughs> you could melt the gop then. <laughs> I've surely tried that. <laughs> what if it's a test to be like, we want to see if you would do it? It looks so uncomfortable as well. That's really unfortunate. If I had like a cushion and a bit of back support, I guess it wouldn't be too bad. Warm. Oh, warm. That helps. Hell this is a yeah. bad idea. Stand up. I think it might be a bit late. I'm okay. Jeez. Good special effects, to be fair. Oh, it's like Neo. Oh, is it done? Wow. That's depressing. What about Percy gets out of that one? Oh. Here we go, she's gonna figure it out already. See, I bet all the gods tried brute force but didn't try brains. That's why the best to them. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of a one way sort of thing. It can't be undone. How do you know? Because I built it. Oh, a, a pestia sort of. <laughs> In spite of what my brother might have told you, I am not someone who'll be pushed around. All right, you tell him, bro. Eat or be eaten. Power and glory and nothing else matters. Ares is that way. Zeus is that way. My mother is that way. Oh, now he's gonna gain sympathy. He's better than that. Maybe I was that way once. <laughs> he feels a bit bad. Maybe I did take it a bit too far. And... Oh, so you can undo it then. There's no way to undo it. Just blow into the flute. Done. That was easy. Not pre-deal. Was he, like, aware that whole time, or...? You're a good kid, Annabeth. I'll put in a good word with your mom for you. Well, thanks, Hephaestus. Hephaestus... I can't remember his name. Hephaestus. <laughs> Heaving that around. Get in. Don't. I really don't care, but in a few hours, <laughs> this thing is going to be at the Lotus Casino in Vegas. Hermes hangs out there. You play your cards right, and his personal driver can get you to LA in minutes. I thought you were going to take us to Hades. Your dad had plenty of kids he stopped caring about once he lost interest. You'll have lots of company. We're not going to fail. The actor they've picked for Ares is so good. You think you know who I am, but you don't. Very and if expressive. you aren't careful, you're gonna find out. Oh, Percy. Polonius. Hey, do you think we could get some paper towels or something? It's not that nice in here. <laughs> I know who stole the Master Bowl. Oh, who? I, I, I meant to know who. I, I, I don't even know. I guess we'll find out in the next episode, but, um,. Yeah, there we go, guys. That is episode 5 of Percy Jackson Season 1. We're over halfway through the season now, and another good episode. I still don't feel like we've had a really, really great one. Um, I would have hoped that we would have had one by now, after five episodes. But they've all, apart from episode 1, which I still think is the weakest, um, 2, 3, 4, and 5 have just been all consistently good. Like, we've never really shot up or anything, but uh, I think Ares is definitely the most interesting god that they've shown so far. He was the actor was quite expressive and quite fun to have around for an episode. I assume we won't see a lot of these gods until the next season. Now it's just kind of like introducing them episode by episode as it goes on, um, like the Chimera last episode and stuff like that. Got a lot more Annabeth and Percy kind of bonding. I still feel like the weak link is clearly. Um, I still don't know his name. It was kind. Of, it was a bit better this episode just because he was hanging out with Ares Grover. That was it. Um, Grover's just 
the least interesting out of the three, and they continue to make Anna Beth and Percy like bond and have these really <laughs> good scenes together. And then Grover's just kind of doing his own thing, saying his own little lines, um, which is fine, I guess. So I still really like Anna Beth, really like Percy. Ares was really cool. I like the whole idea with the chair and a bit of the like god lore and all that stuff. Uh, the the worst part of this episode was the lighting. As soon as they got to the theme park. When they got into the tunnel, it was a bit better, but yeah, the, I don't know. Why do shows do this? I feel like since Game of Thrones, it's like every show feels the need, like, because it would be pitch black in real life, we have to make it, like, really, really dark. It's like, I, I get it, you want it to be realistic <laughs> in that sense with the lighting, but it's not fun to kind of watch and you just kind of, like, what's going on? House of the Dragon did it as well. It's like, ugh. it wasn't that big a deal. I'm not, like, bringing down the rating of the episode or anything because of it. It's just noticeable for sure. Um, and yeah. Good episode. Like I say, nothing exceptional still going on. We do only have three remaining, so I really hope we have like a couple of... I, I actually hope the next all three are great because uh, I think that would really like boost up um, my thoughts on the show as a whole. But if they're all just kind of here for the rest of the season, then it's like, oh, it'll be good, but um, I don't think it'd be anything exceptional because that's just kind of how I feel about it at the moment. I think it's like, it's good. It's a good show, but that's really about it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, rating for this episode, I gave the last one a what a uh, seven point seven. I'd say this was about the same for me. I felt like maybe I was, <sighs> I don't know. Aries really boosted this one up, and then the whole chair thing was really cool. They were the two best scenes. Um, and getting a bit more backstory on some of the gods. So I think I'll just go seven point seven again, like basically the same rating, maybe seven point six or something like that. Uh, I think it was about as good as the last episode. And a little bit longer as well, which helped. I'm glad this was just a tiny bit longer. But yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know if you thought the episode down below in the comments. And I'll see you next time for episode 6. Until then, take care. Peace.